Hi, my name is Liz Boisvert, and I'm going to show you how to leverage Bold Trail to create a link so that you can take that link and invite someone to your website. Over here on your left hand sidebar, you see all of these icons that will take you to wonderful places. We're, for this purpose, going to go to Lead Engine. And from Lead Engine, you'll find Landing Page. From landing page, it will ask you to select a domain. I only have one domain, which is my website. You may have more than one if you have a, a beefed up account for Teams or something of that sort. But most people, the average person, are only going to have the one. So you'll select the one, and then you'll hit Start Building. But I want to pause you there because see just above Start Building where it says Past Landing Pages, you can go back to landing pages you've created in the past and reuse them or you can recreate them as well. They're really easy to create and I'm gonna show you that now. So we'll hit start building. Over on the left-hand side, there is an option to hit light theme. I prefer that. I think it's more inviting to my eyes. You may find that different. Uh, maybe you're going for more like the smoky dark vibe. Um, but for my purposes, I like to hit light theme most of the time. And then above that, you'll see the button drop down for lead generation and then it takes you to several different other options. It's good for you to pinpoint what your objective is before you create the land page, because your objective may help you decide which of these to choose. For instance, you could do a video and lead capture. This is a way for you to take a YouTube video that you did of, an, of a particular listing or an area, the favorite park of an area of the open house that you're getting ready to do. And you're, you know, the link that you're going to share, you're going to knock on all those doors at the open house, right? And invite those neighbors to come. Might be really cool to capture the video of their favorite park and have that be the landing page that they um, see when they follow your QR code. Um, for the purposes of this, though, I'm going to go ahead and pick address capture because I want you to imagine that you are going to be doing an open house and you're going to be inviting the neighbors and the big picture here is that you're going to give them value. You're going to want them to contact you if you if they ever decide to list their home. And so having their address and being able to follow up with them later could come in very handy because you could send them those free evaluations or free, re free reports um, or some kind of mailer. So to do that, I hit address capture and then you have all of these options at the top. You can change any of this. You could leave it exactly the way it is. For what we're doing, um, we're gonna probably wanna change it. So I will just say, what is my home worth? And then under that, you could say something else like free home evaluations, um, no strings attached. You get to do whatever you want. This is your landing page. Just need to be compliant with fair housing laws. And if you double click these, it helps, it makes these boxes disappear or you can just highlight it and change it to say whatever you want. Uh, doesn't matter. You could say Scooby-Doo for all I care. <laughs> and then throw this up to you. But we're gonna go ahead and delete it because I like that look of the simple landing page without a lot of distractions. And then, the only thing that's left for them is to enter their address, and that's great. The next thing you're going to want to pay attention to are those hashtags, because Bold Trail is a big box. It's like a Rolodex, and if it wasn't for the tabs that alphabetize those leads in your Rolodex or those contacts in your Rolodex, you wouldn't know where to find them, right? That's the kind of the idea of those hashtags. It's a big box, and being able to open those box and find the smaller box of the area that you're doing the open house so that you can search for those hashtags and those leads later. And you can call it whatever you want. It is optional, but I highly recommend it. You could say Sesame Street because that's the house or the street that you are hosting the open house. And that will trigger your memory later of what was the name of that street where I got all those leads? Oh yeah, it's Sesame Street. And then you'll search in your Bull Trail CRM, CRM later, Sesame Street, and all of those will populate for you. So get your hashtag in there, it's very important. Then you're going to select what background you want. You could even do the primary MLS image if you wanted, but I will warn you that once the home is no longer listed in the MLS, you might have problems with that MLS image, and you want this link to go beyond that. 
they could be six months they've had it on their fridge and now they're ready to do that home eval so you don't want that to necessarily expire so i would go with something a little more general that would stand the, the, the test of time in a sense so i like the eco i love the little grass house and the helping hand so we're going to roll with that and then i'm going to hit save you're going to get this little pop-up that tells you you know warning you're not going to be able to edit it after you get past this page and that's fine because you can always go back and start over because it's been what less than a minute maybe two minutes maybe and we have our land page landing page created and so from there you'll take the landing page and you can go in, into your favorite qr code creator i really like the qr monkey i love i think it's super easy um it's really it's free that's a big thing right um generator Google there, and you want to find the one with the little monkey face. And then all you do is you drop that link into there, and then you hit generate code. And then you'll hit download PNG. You'll see it's creating that QR code, and it takes a minute. And then once you have that QR code created, you can put it anywhere you want. You could create a postcard, you could create a flyer, you could put it on the back of your business card. Whatever you have the budget for and whatever your heart's desire is what you're going to do. I can show you how easy it is. I will go into one of my favorite tools, which is Google Docs, and I'll hit plus, and then I'll go down to my downloads folder. This might look a little different to you than it does for me because uh, you may not be a Mac person. You might be more of a PC person, and that's fine too. And then you can just resize it how you want. You could put your headshot in here. You could write a letter inviting them to call you anytime, and you're done. Print it off. Go knock on 10 doors before your open house. If they don't answer, leave it for them. It's awesome. And so what happens is that those pers that person that you've invited for that free home evaluation will scan the code. They put their address in. And then once they pop into your system, you can have smart campaigns to follow up for free home evaluations. You can actually send them uh, an evaluation within a matter of seconds from the main dashboard. There's so many things that you could I could teach you and that we can explore. Um, and if you have a particular next step that you would like me to visit, please just drop down in the comments and let me know because I'm trying to keep this video short and sweet. But there is one more thing I want to show you because I showed you how to create a link and you can do that with any regard that you want. But I also want to show you that there's links already built in for you. And the best way to reach those is to go over here on the left hand sidebar and go to listings. And then select the house that you hold open. So we go to let's say it's this. one, And then over here on the right hand side where it says direct link, you can do the same thing with that. But instead of them going to your landing page and giving you their address, they're just going to see the MLS data that's fed out through the IDX feed. So it really depends on what you're doing. I prefer landing pages because you can control what they see. But maybe you just want to give them value of, you know, the, the open house that you're doing. Um, it really just, again, depends on what you want them to what you want them to see. But the main objective is making it easy as possible for them to come into your system. So I hope that was super helpful today. And if there's any, again, if there's anything else that you would like to see, you just let me know. Eyes closed, we're gonna spin through the stars.